Good morning, everybody. As I've mentioned before, as far as um, the evidence against Steve is concerned, Kathleen Zellner and her experts have systematically uh, destroyed every claim by the prosecution that uh, Steve and Avery had anything to do with uh, the disappearance of Theresa Holbach to the extent whereby as I said a while back, um, people that feel that or claim to believe that Stephen Avery is guilty and Brendan are guilty, they they they've gone very very quiet as far as the uh, the evidence is concerned. They have no explanation for the amount of DNA, the lack of fingerprints, the you know, the fact that you've got clearly planted blood clearly we've got bones scattered all over the place um and handed back when they shouldn't be you know the, the, the whole the whole thing is is a mess as far as the evidence is concerned so i don't know if anybody else has noticed it i i've i've noticed that um one of the things that the so-called guilters are now trying to say is that uh, and they've been saying this for a long time as as Kathleen Zellner has developed the evidence um, that, that that she can't do this and she can't do that and this this won't be permitted in court and that won't be permitted and that she'll be closed down on this and that's wrong and you have to question where is the guilt a sense of justice they claim that they they want justice for Theresa Holbach and we all do and yet they're not able to to see that well, if the wrong person has been uh, imprisoned for it, that's not justice. That 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 that's completely and utterly wrong. But they don't get that. They're quite happy with their legal system doing its very utmost. The state using the legal system to to the to the utmost to try and keep even the possibility of Stephen Avery receiving justice, Stephen Brendan receiving justice. I just find it very odd, their their sense of, of, of what is justice. Um, they'll say they want justice for Theresa, but no way do they want any kind of justice for for Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey. They're just quite happy sticking where they are. And you know they they, they try and they try and laugh about the fact that Kathleen Zellner doesn't know what she's doing and uh, she's, you know, she's got it all wrong and she'll be laughed out at court. It ain't happening, is it, folks? It just isn't happening. In fact, the very opposite. You know, <laughs> of course, full, the truth of the matter is, of course, that the guilters, they know perfectly well that Stephen Avery is innocent, but they've got a vested interest in keeping him where he is and anything they can do to, to try and ridicule us for suggesting that uh, Stephen Avery might, might be innocent. That just goes against their um, self-preservation instincts. I'm sure that it's, it's mainly people involved with either the state or law enforcement that are the ones that are that are trying or involved in the legal system that don't want to see uh, a wrongfully convicted person exonerated as i say you have to question their mentality when it comes to that kind of justice that they would rather have an innocent person locked up than freed and they're hoping hoping that the state can do everything that they possibly can to perpetuate this wrongful conviction and not even to entertain the thought that well he might be he might be innocent so come on we need a we need a well i don't think it's going to go to a retrial i i just can't see that what what are they going to try him on what evidence are they going to be left with that hasn't been completely discredited the only the only evidence they have is the fact that uh, Bobby Dassey claimed that he saw Teresa heading towards Stephen Avery's trailer, and then didn't see her again, but her car was still there. Is he going to get on the witness stand and say all that again? I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna. He's gonna. For that alone, 
I must admit, personally, I do hope that he does land himself in some pretty deep water because of the path he chose to go down of trying to help the state convict Steve and his own brother. That, that for me, beggars belief. Anyway, that's all I've got time for today. Better get off to my next lesson. Bye for now.